Uh, as we know, this year marks the 70th anniversary of the end of World War II. Mm -hmm. The Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe uh, said he will express remorse for it. Uh, what is your comments on his action? Well, on the history issues, uh, our view is that we should always be mindful of history, but we should look forward, uh, we should promote healing, and we should um, make sure that we're advancing our key bilateral relations in the region. As you know, the U.S. is uh, an ally of Japan. Uh, Japan is a, is a close friend of the United States, and we think their track record and their contributions over the last 70 years to the international system, their support for democracy, freedom, human rights, international institutions has been excellent. And so uh, if you look at the current status of the U.S.-Japan relationship, that's a perfect example of the strength and value of reconciliation. Look at the current state of U.S. relations with Vietnam, another country that we fought a war with. Vietnam is very rapidly becoming uh, a good friend of the United States as well. So w we think that all countries should be, um, should be honest about history, and that includes China, but we should focus on the future, focus on reconciliation, take positions and policies that um, promote that kind of reconciliation. We think that Prime Minister Abe made some very important statements on January 5th where he talked about uh, remorse and uh, talked about his view on history issues. And we want to uh, encourage that. You welcome that? I mean, we, we welcome those statements, yes. So you mentioned Japan is an important ally of the United States. So in terms of facing history, um, how does Obama's administration communicate with the Japanese government in winning the trust from his neighbors? Uh, what kind of suggestion did you give? Well, uh, when it comes to talking about uh, history issues with Japan, we talk about them in the same way that we talk about them uh, with China, insofar as we think countries need to be honest about their history. Um, they need to be uh, focused on looking forward, how to heal, how to focus on reconciliation, and taking a, um, a forward-looking viewpoint. And when we look at the contributions that Japan has made over the past seven decades, we think that this is uh, you know, a country that understands that acceptance of democracy, human rights, freedom, international rules and norms is something that helps the entire international system and contributes to global peace and stability. I don't know, did you notice the news that a uh, major U.S. publishing company rejected a request by um, a Japanese government, um, I mean, to change the textbook over comfort women issue? The writer said this was the first time that a Japanese government representative uh, lobbying him to do that. Do you have any concerns over this issue? I'm not familiar with that issue, and it would not be appropriate for me to comment on the activities of a private U.S. publisher. But my point is simply, uh, let's focus on the future, let's try to uh, resolve these issues, and let's try and um, take steps that are going to promote uh, prosperity, stability, security in Northeast Asia. Because there are a lot of history issues. Um, there, are history, there are issues between Japan and China, there are issues between Japan and South Korea, um, and these are all a constraint on our ability to solve problems and to ensure that the Asia-Pacific is the engine of uh, growth uh, in the 21st century. As we know also, uh, the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is going to visit the United States in April, according to media, and he's going to make a speech in Congress. So some analysis say their former Japanese Prime Minister Kuzumi uh, was refused by Congress because he visited Yasukuni Shrine several times. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, America has a baseline over the history issue. So how important do you think uh, the uh, Moriyama and Kono statement, uh, I mean, on, on this issue? Again, you know, our position is that when it comes to history issues, of course we have to be honest about the past. And that applies to every country, including the United States. Um, but if you want to resolve these issues, it's important uh, to look toward the future not focus on the difficulties of the past. It's important to take positions that promote healing. How do we make sure that both sides can move past these issues? Uh, look to examples throughout international relations history, like what the U.S. has done with Germany, like what France and Germany have done, what the U.S. has done with Japan, 
the process we're going through with Vietnam right now. There's lots of examples of ways in which we can move past history issues. And I think that all countries uh, should keep that in mind in order to um, ensure that history issues are not a long-term constraint. 2015 is going to be an important year because it's the 70th anniversary of the end of World War II. It's an opportunity for all countries in the region uh, to move past these history issues.